Sounds like a fine plan, but what's Iran going to have to say about all of this? Well, that remains to be seen, and it remains to be seen also what this new deal that Emmanuel Macron floated today during the press conference with Donald Trump really entails, and whether Donald Trump himself will eventually agree with this. Uh, the deadline for the current uh, decision that Trump needs to make this will expire on May 12th. Uh, and this is really an attempt by Emmanuel Macron to basically get Trump to stay with the current deal while addressing some of his concerns outside of that context. So if the US and Europe can agree on that, the next question will be whether the other parties to the current deal, including Iran, but also Russia and China, can go along with that. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to press you a little more on that point, because, of course, Iran, uh, you know, a very old country, used to be Persia, uh, views itself as a regional uh, superpower. Uh, is there a risk that trying to strengthen this deal uh, could potentially back Iran further into a corner that it doesn't want to be in, and, and this whole idea could end up backfiring? Uh, that's absolutely the risk, um, and that's why I think Emmanuel Macron and the other European leaders view it as so essential to keep the U.S. committed to the current deal. Uh, we certainly heard comments coming out of Iran saying that if the current deals would falter, that they would return to their nuclear programs. I think that is what Emmanuel Macron um, is trying to achieve at Trump, keep the U.S. in the deal, but also addressing some of his concerns that lie outside of the deal. Uh, you know, there is every possibility that Macron is going to leave the U.S. empty-handed. I mean, how might that affect his uh, what you can see here, just even in, in the images we're showing, a very cozy relationship between the two. Absolutely. I mean, the two leaders have developed a really unique relationship, and Macron has been able to charm Donald Trump to impress him. Uh, but it remains to be seen what he will actually get out of this and what he will return to Paris with. We've seen the same thing for President Abu of Japan, who also developed a very nice relationship with Trump, but right. feels empty-handed on the issues that he cares about, on the trade exemptions for Japan and on North Korea. So it really remains to be seen if Emmanuel Macron can manage to get something out of Trump, maybe mm -hmm. on Iran, maybe on Syria, maybe on the trade exemptions. Uh, and is there more at stake here, be, uh, you know, out, uh, outside of Macron's relationship with Trump at Jeopardy, but what about Macron's standing in Europe as this new leader? Yeah, Macron has really tried to capitalize on his election victory, presenting himself as a strong leader, not just of France, but also in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, I think, goes along with uh, Chancellor Merkel of Germany's problems with forming a coalition. Uh, so this has allowed Macron to position himself as a strong leader in Europe, but also internationally, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the United States, but also vis-a-vis -vis other leaders in the world. And it's interesting to note that the next week he will go to Moscow and talk to Vladimir Putin. So this is an attempt hmm. by Macron to strengthen his role as the president of France, but also France's standing in the world and as one of the key leaders, if not the leader, of Europe at this time.